and all the treatments and everything that was all we used the money for you yeah, understand like that was all we used for just like i think after all the stress of working there and everything i just still did not use the money to do something and yeah tangible i still used it to to treat myself at the end of the day which was really 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 bad so when i when i came back home then like steadily steadily i was taking my drugs you know i was eating well i was fine okay there was something that happened actually i did not know that i was pregnant oh. at that point when i came back from the hospital i was pregnant and i did not know who would be pregnant because the drugs and everything working in that place mm -hmm. you won't know but you guys are not using condom we, we, yeah but there was, was always mindless sex okay, most times okay. so even if you use even if you use protection, there are some times where you will not just use it, so a person might move it and you won't know. Sure. You might but yeah, you're already on another level. That's mm -hmm. you know, so that's what the highness does to you. It makes you really strong, makes you wild and makes you forget. Yes. That's what the yeah, yeah, does to you. So I don't know if I was pregnant again. Just mm -hmm. another extra. But like what was this one? Another extra for Hala. My, my mom took me to where I moved it. Oh. Yes, she moved because my mom told me, Do you know how much? And I wanted to keep it. That was the funny thing. I don't know how much is pump, but I don't know. I just want to tell this. I don't know why I want. Maybe I just felt like I wanted something like maybe my own. I don't know. But I just want, I wanted to be my younger brother. He's so I'm three years older than him. During that period, he hits me. Yes, he hits me, and he told me I'm stupid. That what like this is this bastard I want to bring into this house. Yes, I think all those things. That's why I don't I don't think there's anything that can shake me again. Mm. At this point, life and everything happened really all I'm saying is 20, 21, 22. It's not see I'm so old like that. But that they happened really early. You started 17? Yes. Okay, so it happened really like... early in my life, you understand? Mm -hmm. So um we went to the hospital. They actually took me to the hospital where they, where, where they gave birth to me was where they removed it. Oh wow. Yes. In the hospital they treated me. And they removed the pregnancy. My dad now, they, okay, they were not, they were not always locking me in the house. I remember, they don't allow me to go anywhere. Always be locking me in the house, always locking me in the house. My dad came back and he said, "This girl is fine." That opened yeah, the door. Allow, so yes, that and he took me. To, he traveled. He took me to Abuja. He traveled with my dad. And I remember the day we traveled. I intentionally left my drugs. I intentionally left them. Your yes, I intentionally left them because they were actually making me. They told me to a dummy, mm. and I don't like that. Was night feeling like I was be looking. I can't talk. I can't. I can't do anything. Do anything. Then the there's this um, reaction to it. My tongue starts swelling up. Mm. So every time I was always like this, looking. I don't be quiet. I can't. And me, I, I like to be active. yeah active. I'm very um, fast person. You know, so I just told myself I'm taking this job. It's just a thing of it's, 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 it's a mind illness, the mental illness. So just a thing of the mind. Okay. You understand? So and um, when I told myself I was going to take this job again, I'm fine, let's go. But I went to go to the park and that said, did you carry I said you that let's go. Don't worry, I'm fine. Let's go. I don't need that drugs again. You understand? Got to Abuja. Started working in church at that period. I was fine. The whole thing, the drugs were off two days, three days in Abuja. I was really going to the market, I was cooking, I was working in um, the media department of the church. church. I was managing the Instagram and Twitter handles, and I was fine. You understand? I was really okay. But the thing is, I think I knew like that when I came back to Lagos, I went back to stripping. Oh. Oh. This time, I went back because that was the only thing I knew. To how to do to survive. to survive and that's one so i'm like where will i want to start from the school again mm -hmm. that's two and you know all this the age when, when i was stripping is the age that some people used to learn makeup mm -hmm. or learn something for me i don't know anything and when it comes out i don't know how to make i don't my hands i don't know how to be yeah, so okay. if you tell me to read write can. i can't i'm fine give me something to do now i can read but when it comes to making something i don't know how to do it so Going back to Lagos, that was, I went back to school. But this time, I did not go back to that crazy. It was now like a more matured me. Okay. A more like matured, healthier me. There was no more drugs. It's that the occasional 
my wanna meet you understand but the dark drugs thing i stopped yeah i stopped everything you understand then normal everyday alcohol because alcohol alcohol was only did that was alcohol was now maybe alcohol now replaced the drugs i don't know but alcohol was on a day every day like once i thought i have to drink well i think i was able to get an account able to and as in i don't know my brain was just i was getting myself so 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 so, so. i was not saving money home okay. and all that but i think this year this pandemic <laughs> this pandemic is really really funny because when it when it started i didn't have anything not like i had but like you know what you don't you don't prepare not to go to work tomorrow exactly, now it's not right. possible and we are forced i remember that saturday when we got to the club and they said that we, we are closing down because oh. we could not believe it so i was at home and i was, I saw that i was surviving i did nice. not die i was surviving then i had like i had some of my exes who sent me money to okay. yeah, you understand they married because they sent me money to survive and everything but it's like I'm, you are fine you are okay nothing no there's nothing wrong with you mm-hmm. you understand and during the pandemic i was able to successfully i i like beauty pageants okay. you know, I, went, I went for a beauty pageant i contested for a beauty pageant okay. during the pandemic i was able to as, i mean i always felt like sorry i always felt like okay if where will i get money to do this because i have to i have to i always felt like i have to dance i have to and that mentality, that's why I always tell my friends that they are also not with that mentality that you have to go to the club to make money. That thing is just deceiving us and we don't know. It holds you back. It holds you back. Some people say, um, I, I, I never buy land, I never buy a car. Yeah, I don't reach. Some girls will say, when I'm not married, well, I don't know, I'm like, so you think, me, I know myself that it's not a man that's going to make me stop stripping. I've done that one for a very long time because I've met a lot of men. You understand? They wanted you to stop. Yeah, they wanted me to stop, but it always I want to stop today and tomorrow. Go yeah, back go back to you understand. But I knew that I was, it was going to be I was going to, I was going to live with my two legs. It's not a decision. It's not a decision. You understand? So so just I think when I went for the pageant, okay, I think the pageant, the pageant was now the turning point to stop because I did it successfully. I got my gown, everything. When we were presenting our projects, I talked about mental health. And there's there's no point that can talk about your story. And so I think that I um, the project was by vote Nigeria, but that um, our social project made my score really high. Okay. You understand? I didn't get top top five. I got top twelve. Okay. Yes, and I won for the northern region. Okay. You understand? You understand? So I was really proud. But when I finished, when I came back home, that first week coming back home, I think I I was lying down my bed. I thought to myself that. Like, you can do this successfully. There's so many other things. So many other things. There's, there's so much to this mm-hmm. life that just put yourself in the box mm-hmm. and you catch a club, everything, you know, that kind of thing. So, first night, I went to quit the city. Mm-hmm. I did not put, um, and okay, first night, I, I applied for Queen University, but pandemic and everything. So, I went to quit the city and I put the BSc zoology there. Mm-hmm. And I put Queen University together and still, um, and apply for it and everything. Okay. I did not speak a C, but I tried. I just tried and then they it together. <laughs> and I went for someone told me about the job interview. Okay. And I went for the interview. You understand? And they asked me questions. Me, I've never gone to a job interview in my whole life. <laughs> and so I was I just felt out of out of place like what am I doing here? The one was like and so now you need to ask me because I know this is not this is not very nice. <laughs> exactly. So now asking because I train me questions, not saying I slick me and be what was the job role about? So was um, the job role about them collecting loans, just okay, yeah, okay, like okay. a loan collector. Okay. Work with the couple okay, every day to okay. pay, pay and everything. So and you have to meet the target. You meet, you meet the target to get a good amount at your salary. Okay, at your salary. Right. If you meet the maximum target to get 5k at okay. your salary. So it's really competitive again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's something I can do. is some people say it's competitive, but to me, I, I like it because me, I don't have to do any other thing. They used to write and put mm-hmm. records. I can do it very, very well. So I, they did not even call me the next day. They call me the third day. Me, I remember I said, I feel like I said rubbish in that interview. <laughs> this week I never call me. Then I think the next week on Thursday, I just saw a message on my phone and they've taken me. Wow. Still same during this pandemic. Do you understand? I think this year has been my best year. Mm-hmm. You know, but any other person yeah. But things that I did not think I would have done. I didn't go just give to me like okay stay one place and think. No everyday alcohol, 
I'm saying it's in my house. I want to start drinking alcohol for what? <laughs> you understand? Even if I want to drink now, it has to be necessary. Mm, I have, now, if I, if I drink now, Sepe, I enjoy it. I enjoy drinking now. Like, it's not more like I'm drinking to go and, Get high or to go and do one walk. No, no, no. If I go out with my friends now, I'm always the highest because I will drink and I will enjoy myself. Dance. There's this freedom that comes with knowing that you don't have to sleep. <laughs> and that I think that's I think that's what that's what I hate most about the job. If it was just to dance, I don't think it should have been that bad. But if they have to sleep with somebody is crazy. Then what it does to you? Did it affect your self-esteem? A lot. A lot. I hated myself. I always felt what Yeah, exactly. What do you want to do? I mean she, who wants to like you? You know what I'm saying? I don't like dating. If a man comes near me, you I, I run away. I, I'm like, why are you like, why are you like him? What do you like me for? Mm-hmm. What happened? Is that bad? If somebody starts showing me affection, I run away. Run. I don't like it. That's true. But now, I've been able to accept compliments, accept affection. That is a normal thing. You're, even if you are the guy you don't end up dating, but it's a normal thing that someone, a, likes, someone you. likes you for you. Oh, this has been a really, really, really emotional conversation. Like, I'm holding myself back. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm so, I'm so glad we we're able to talk about this. And I'm happy you found a turning point in your life. And I'm hoping it will be like that, like, no yeah. going back. Yeah. I'm so happy to have this conversation with you. Thank God for the pandemic. <laughs> right, thank God for the pandemic. <laughs> so, like, do you have any word of advice for people that I want to be? I just want to tell young girls that don't don't always think. I'm not going to say it out there. Don't think you have to be with a man. So, so I don't know. Men can they can help you. You understand? Mm-hmm. But don't think you have to sleep with men to make money or to feed or to live your life because it's basically what I was doing you understand so either this or you starve you understand I feel like and I that's I think that's that was just the main thing I don't think there's any other yeah any other thing it's just just believe in yourself I I those people in my working place they don't even where I work now they don't know I don't have my I, I don't have a BSc because I believed in myself and I dressed up with other graduates there and I walked in and I answered questions and they picked me. It's about believing in yourself. All this well, maybe I had it in me, but I did not believe in myself that I could do, you understand, I could get anything. For me, when I saw my when I saw a video of me talking, doing a social project, I was the judges were not asking me. I was one of the I was the only person they did not ask questions. They were adding to what I was saying. So you're proud of yourself. I was so proud of myself. Yeah. Like I didn't, I could not believe it. Mm. They know other girls were trying to ask them questions to throw them off guard. Mm-hmm. But they know that if they ask me questions, this one would finish everything. <laughs> so they were adding to what I was now. Oh, what you did, what you what you did this. And I was really proud of myself. So I feel like if with good training, if I train myself for like six months, I could sp- I can speak very well. You understand? I can be a speaker somewhere, I can talk, I can inspire people. Go to school and speak to young children. Mm. You understand? That's what I want to do. I think most people will say, okay, what, what do you want to be? I want to be a doctor. Yeah, I want to speak. Mm. That's it. I want, I want to be a speaker. For now, it may not make sense. Oh, I understand you. <laughs> but I want to speak for you. Mm. I'm a You will, baby girl. You will. <laughs> okay, so Lily, the the part I love most about your story is your family being supportive. I like that despite everything, mm-hmm. you were still there. I think that's the best thing about family. Thank you for I like that the best support system. So as I family, do you have best friends or close friends? I don't keep. I don't have anybody to be close to me. Mm-hmm. Like I, I keep so so close so, so to me like that. Because I just feel like people come and go. Right. Yeah. You have that. That's, I, that's, and that mindset is bad, but I don't, I, 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 won't, I don't, I don't like people in my life. What if you leave me? What will I do? Just you like. still work on that part. There are some people that 
things. Yeah, some people come for a reason. Yeah. Some people come for seasons. There are friends that will come, but I think there are still people that you can still keep close. Mm-hmm. Just have an open mind. I think my bestie is my sister, my my brothers, my dad, my mom. Currently, right? Yeah, currently. I'm really, really close to them. Then I have an ex that uh, we talk. Yeah, we talk, talk very, very like it's deep that deep kind of talk. Yeah, yeah. conversations, yes. Like if anything anything good happens to me, I tell him I share with him. So you know, he's married, so okay. there's no it's not gonna be anyway. So understand. I noticed that I don't know why I like people that I know that they would not like a married man. I feel like I'm comfortable sharing it with him. Person. You understand? Or you see somebody that is maybe younger or close to my age or no. <laughs> you know, I'm acting. But you still find love now. Look at uh, you. <laughs> Are you open to that though? Relationships, not, not at the moment, not that right? moment. Yeah, sure. but maybe future. Yeah. This is where I live work. I always live like it. You don't want anyone I to notice like... you. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Wow, I had, I don't know, I have different emotions. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, guys, we've come to the end of this episode. I have nothing to say again. <laughs> Bye for now. Well, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> oh.